Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I have a full lace wig review for you. This is a glueless full lace wig. That's right, glueless. You know I don't use adhesives of any kind. I, I never did. In all my tutorials that you see me do on lace wigs, I never use adhesive. But now over like the last year and a half, these full lace wigs have gotten to me 10 times better because now the cap is designed so that you don't have to use glue or adhesives of any kind. And this wig has been applied with no glue at all, no adhesives at all. Look at that parting space. This parting space goes all the way to the back. You could part this wig in any direction. You get a nice part. Also, I do not have on a flesh colored wig cap. I just have on a black netted wig cap. You see that later in this video. And um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this wig. This wig is the ELS. This is the 131. This color is a 1B. And it's almost like a very dark brown. It's a dark brown. It's not like an off black. It's a dark brown. This is 16 inches long. And um, when I took her out the package, she was completely straight. She wasn't curled at all. I just lightly curled her with some hot rollers that I have over here. And um, this is it curled really easy. Very, very easy. I used a little bit of styling mousse also. This is by Vigorol. I used that to just a little bit of styling mousse uh, in the hair. And then I just set it with rollers. And uh, this is really, really pretty really really long and this it took me less than 10 seconds to put on once I removed the excess lace from this wig it took me less it was so quick guys it was like putting on a um, a half wig or a full cap wig but the combs and the adjustable straps I'm going to show you all that makes the wig very easy you have a customized sizing also you can go from a large head to a very small head comfortably I really this is really really nice this a lot of work went into this the hair density is very thick I won't say very thick it definitely is thick it's about medium a little more than medium density this is this is thick this hair has a lot of body own natural body before I put in the styling mousse before I curled it it already had a lot of body and this hair is yakky and yakky just represents Afro-Caribbean hair, African-American hair, um, the results of it after it's been uh, relaxed or straightened. And uh, this is very, very natural looking, beautiful, beautiful, look at that. I'm so impressed with this part. I'm going to show you some photos at the end of the video uh, so that you can get an idea of how to get a great look with this particular wig. This is the ELS 131 this color is a 1B and it's 16 inches long and the texture is yakky. And this wig has baby hairs all around the perimeter and it has baby hairs in the back also. So for those of you who like to wear your lace wigs in a high ponytail, you definitely can do that with this one. Those are your baby hairs. Nice and long. If you like, you can also trim your baby hairs to make them shorter. You don't have to leave them this long. I'm going to show you more baby hairs around the perimeter, around the ear line here. You have your baby hairs right there. Inside this wig, let me turn it inside out for you so you can see. This is a full lace wig. It is a glueless full lace wig and by that I'm going to show you the cap inside. It has the stretch it's the stretch cap. It has combs in the inside. Three combs, two combs at the temple and one in the center. There's no comb at the bottom, but you do have your adjustable slots and you can move it in as much as five times I think so you can get a, a very tight fit or a very loose fit depending on the size of your head again you don't need glue to apply this wig this is one of my favorite caps because I don't use adhesives at all when I wear lace wigs 
So now when I invest in a wig, I definitely will look for the glueless cap. And again, this you get a lot of stretch. Lots of stretch. And you can part it anywhere. You can see the parting space. Goes all the way down the back. From ear to ear and from the front all the way to the back. You can part it in any direction you like. And the lace is a Swiss lace and it's a light brown. So I'm going to put this on very quickly for you so that you can see what it looks like. And it goes on just that easy. Just that easy. So I'm going to attach the combs so that it can be more secure. I don't recommend that you use bobby pins with this wig. The lace is uh, very soft and you might tear it. If you wanted to, you can leave a little bit of the lace on so that you can glue it down if you like. But I'm not going to use any glue. This is a glueless cap. And I think these caps fit much better when um, you use the glueless cap. I just think you get a better fit when you use a glueless cap. And uh, I really, really, really do like it. Okay, so I'm now going to part it a little bit so that you can see that parting space. And I'm just going to part it right here on the side. You can see it's already started parting itself. Look at that. You can part this wig in any direction. I'm just going to part it right here because this is how I'm going to style it with a little bit of hair over on this side. Let me just part it here so you can see. Take a look. And as you notice, I'm not wearing a skin colored wig cap. You saw me with my black hair net on just to keep my braids down and neatly in place. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of styling for you and I'll be right back. So before I go, I want to tell you that the RPG show is having a super summer sale. There they have $70 off any glueless cap wig that's either 14 or 16 inches long. And this is a 16 inch long wig. So if you're interested in this one, this Yaki Texture glueless cap you can get $70 off or $80 off of any regular full lace wig that's between 14 and 16 inches long. I left all the information below um, so you guys can check it out. You don't have to remember what I'm saying. It's all going to be just below in the more info box. Check that out. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I am going to sign off. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to give this wig two thumbs up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And stay tuned for some pictures at the end. Take care and be well. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.